Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as a bucket plugin or spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of a plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be this comment section for you new people. And I will uh, capture that, give you a shout out when I get to it. This one was brought to you by Frank Muhammad Tamer and Grim Reaper 926. So thank you guys. Actually, Grim Reaper 926 twice. So thank you guys for suggesting this, and it's made by Kyle Dag 500, which is Ultimate Hub, and uh, it's really nice. So thank you guys also for everybody who's like over 100 people or so voted for the next 10 or 11 plugins for me to do. So I'm scheduled out until June, which is awesome. Feel free to still suggest because I'm still going to archive those, and I will eventually get around to them. Plus, having them scheduled, I might be able to get to more than one a week if I have extra time, which is really cool. So this one is super simple, ultimate hub, very quick and easy. It doesn't do any kind of like jump boost or anything like that, but what it does do is gives you a service selector. So this update from the camp compass navigation, which was taken offline like a week or so after I did a tutorial on it, which is awesome. And then uh, it does do player visibility and as well as launch pads, which we'll talk about in a moment. So. I want to introduce you to Crabs for Kids. Crabs for Kids is actually a Zen gamer with a new game with a new name. It's actually my friend's account that's lent to me, and he decided it'd be funny to change the name. So shout out to Doppel. Anyway, um, you could turn them off, and then it also has a cooldown, which is really nice, so it doesn't happen too quick. Uh, I'm gonna turn them back on here in a second. There we go. Now we have the server selector as well, which bring it can run a command or bring you to another server through Bungie, which is really nice. So uh, this one is just a command. It's gonna teleport me over here, as you can see, and it's gonna teleport me back to spawn. Now I don't have Bungie set up. I didn't think it was necessary, but yeah, that does that. So that's it. It's really super easy, not a whole lot to do. Um, there's no in-game commands. There's no dependencies. It does do inventory management. So if I'm not op, I couldn't move this stuff. Um, it doesn't let you drop inventory or anything like that. However, one downside is it doesn't have any in-game commands, so you can't even reload the plugin from, from the console, which is kind of a bummer, but hopefully the author will uh, update that. I did see a note saying that he does have that plan to add, so uh, I'll put an annotation up once he gets to that. So that's all we got for the game. Let's hop over to the config file and show you guys how all that works. Okay, so here we are in our server um, like always it does run on 1.8 which is really nice if you guys want to know how to run 1.8 full 1.8 i'll put a link um, right here to get you to that uh, tutorial which shows you how to do that so we're going to go into plugins and then we see that uh, it's created this one ultimate hub and we're going to go in there now you got four yml files the player data folder you don't need to to pay attention to that just has uh, i think that's the uuid uh, translation and then it'll let you know uh, it lets the plugin that's how they track if the player has viewing players on and off so we're gonna hop into the config file and then we might as well just open them all up here in a sec let's just do that so that we can go through them all bam bam all right so the way this works now we go, we're starting the config file. You can change the prefix of it. As you saw, it was uh, red and then blue. And then you can do clear inventory on join. That makes sure that they always just have the server selector stuff. Uh, you can turn on auto update. Now this is the one thing that you need to change right off the bat. Now by default, the spawn is 0, 100, 0. So you might wanna change that because I died immediately upon joining my own thing. So TP on giant. So that means that it's going to teleport them directly to the spawn. So you can do false and then it should just have them join wherever they were last. Um, now you can disable block breaking, disable item dropping, disable inventory movement. Those are all really nice things. Now ops bypass that. You have your welcome message, join message, leave message, and then the, the custom message, message of the day, which is really nice. So we're going to hop over to the launch pads, and I'll show you guys this. I just remembered I forgot to show you guys this, so we'll show you guys this at the end. Basically what it is, is you can enable it true or false. It's going to you could set the upward velocity and then the multi 
multiply velocity velocity you can change the sound of it and the effect of uh, what is done now uh, I don't think these links are uh, valid anymore so I'll put some new ones in the in the jibbles the description for you new people but basically you put um, a sponge below a redstone block and then a stone plate or pressure plate on top of it and then that makes that a launch pad which is super cool I'll show you guys uh, right at the end of the video here now here's where you turn on you can set up the stuff for the player toggler you put what slot it's on so slot the first slot is zero one two three all the way down nine so zero through nine are the slots um, and then you can see you can set it to what it looks like when it's off and what, what it looks like when it's on you can set the cooldown period and then you can also set the sounds and the effects here which you saw already now here's the big meat and potatoes of it so this is the selector so you can change the um you know this is the compass uh, as you can see here's the type you can change that now uh, this number is just the damage value so you want to have the item name and then colon and then the damage value so since it's undamaged it's zero and then you know it'll have that green bar across it and then uh, the service selector now there's two things to note here first is this section and then the second is this all of this so the first thing you need to do is uh, this is the list of items or the names of the things that are going to show up on the hot bar so by default it's just one and two um, because that's or because that's the name of these two I changed them to two and three and then I was just kind of goofing around and you can actually just name them whatever you want so it doesn't have to be a number it can be whatever the name is so it needs to be added up here and then it needs to be added down here now pretty simple he has a little explanation of what is each section which is really nice so we have a uh, type that is what it is you know uh, gold hull now uh, keep in mind that this is the bucket names and not the uh, minecraft names there is a difference because i think the minecraft name is golden hull and that'll mess things up but it's gold hull hull here so uh then function you have one or two is the 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 two options there one is a bungee server two is a command plain and simple so this could run a lot of other commands it doesn't have to be just a teleport command it can be um, run the help or whatever it is which is really cool now you can turn on glow that's the enchantment glow true or false and then the display name the lore and then the value so the value is the command that's going to run once uh, you click that now I don't think you can run more than one command at each one that would be really nice but um that's the single command there so now here's the function one uh like everything else is pretty much the same except the value so you have to have a bungee server named factions and then that's going to run the server uh space factions it's going to warp the person to the faction server so that's it really quick and easy like i said very simple let's hop back over to the uh you know i'll show you guys the uh, launch and we'll wrap this all up okay so here we are back on the server so let's get we need to get a sponge i need to get a redstone block and a stone pressure plate so what you do is you just go wherever it is you go two down place that place that bam and then it's woo. Yep, that's pretty much it. And it's just going to launch you. Wow. Now, keep in mind, you probably, it's not built into this plugin, so people will get fall damage. Um, so, you want to figure out that as well. But uh, yeah, like I said, super simple, very easy. And I hopefully get you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment the below, in the jibbles below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Probably better commenting on the author's page but um yeah so thanks for joining me this is cause from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless